Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I drew this dog. Um, I started with my outline obviously, my line drawing just in graphite. Um, and then I did the underlayers in pastel pencils which I found so much easier than uh, colour pencils for getting the, the initial layers down. Uh, the underpainting, so to speak, is um, is much easier, i found, to do with pastel pencils. You could also do it with pan pastels or with um, pastel sticks, but this is only a four size, so um, I decided just to do it with my um, pastel pencils. Anything bigger, then I would definitely buys pan pastels they really do make the underpainting so easy uh, but anyway so I started with the eyes as I usually do um, I like to start with the outside of the eye rather than the eyeball itself I like to get the uh, the skull in so the where the darks and lights are that creates the tonal value which creates the 3d effect uh, then moving in on the eyeballs themselves um, and so at the moment all I'm doing really is plotting where my lights and darks are really not paying attention to direction um, of my pencils although I suppose I am but um, I'm not not on purpose that's just the way I suppose I've drawn enough now to know that that's the way they go down so I do it automatically but this is the most important step is um, you really need to push the uh, pastel pencils into the pastel mat this is on but you, re you really need to push it down into the tooth you can't really damage pastel mat as, as far as with blending stumps goes anyway so you really need to press it down into the tooth so that you can get more layers on top so what I'm doing now is going back over with a second layer. Again, this is pastel pencils. And you can see just off to the right that I have um, another reference image, that one that you see now. Uh, and that's um, a blurred image. So it's much easier to see the uh, tonal value and the color without the detail on top if you blur the image, which is what I've done there uh, for this layer to make it so this layer I'm trying to get a little bit more accurate but I'm still not um, getting really accurate I'm just just narrowing down a bit more and a bit more with each layer until the final layer is when I'm trying to get most accurate um, and again just just getting the colors down in and the shapes that I'm seeing um, yeah don't be scared to use some colors that you might think is weird there's lots of pinks and blues and purples in this that you would look at it and say is there but there really is they just yeah you, you you lose them in the layers but they're there and they're really important also the color that my camera is picking up is different to what I'm laying down if you if you know what I mean it's not it's not picking up the true colors um, I think I'd need a much much more expensive camera to pick up the true true colors so but you can see the technique that I'm using so I'm still on pastel pencils here still just just working the the layers in trying to get the the underpaint into a stage where I'm happy with um, and then go over the top with colored pencils because you can get colored pencils so much sharper so this is colored pencils now you can get them so much more sharper that you can really get the details in on top of the pastels so much easier. Uh, if you get your underpaint into a stage where it looks like the dog that you you draw in, and it but there's no there's no detail on it, but everything else is in the right place, it's so easy to go over the top um, and get your your details in. Then once once the underpainting is is done, uh, so now I am paying attention to my pencil strokes because I'm putting the, this is the hair going on top and, and with the eye and everything um, so it's really really important at this stage that you do pay attention to the, to the way your, your pencil strokes go 
but I'm still looking backwards and forwards from my reference image, still trying to get more accurate with each um, pass, with each lay down of the pencil. I'm trying to get more and more accuracy so that when this level, when this um, is finished, it it's exactly how I want it to be. You need to be also be really careful at this stage with um, with smudging. You'll notice that I started top left and worked my way down the left hand side, and then came back to the top right to do the right hand side. And then I will do the same with the the muzzle and the nose. I'll start on the left and get that all finished before I start on the right. I mean, you can do it. You can do it another way. The other way. Um, you can do it any way you want, really, but. It, if you are going over your drawing with your hand, you really need to rest something underneath it so that you don't smudge all of your beautiful work. So another thing that I'm doing here is making sure that my darks are as dark as I need them to be. Um, with drawing realism, you've got to make sure that your darks are as dark as they need to be and that your lights are as light as they need to be. And with um, with pastels, if you have something that's really bright, I didn't have anything on on this one that was really bright, apart from on the on the edge of his nose there, it's a little bit bright. But if you've got something that's really bright, you need to um, preserve that that brightness. You need to get some bright bright colour, whether it's white or, or bright yellow or or cream or whatever. But you need to get bright colours in there, and you you need to make sure that you don't go over any of it with with any dark colours because they mix the colors mix so easily which is a massive plus point in in my opinion it's so easy to get the the right shade of color that you're looking for if if you know the color wheel and you know how to mix the colors it's really easy to mix them on the on the drawing as you go uh, but you have to you have to be careful if you need if you need light spaces don't get dark underneath or else it's very difficult to get to get the light back and equally if you need something really dark don't get any light colors in there because it, do, it like I say, it mixes and it will dilute your your dark into a, a lighter colour. So I mean that's that's about it really. It's um, looking backwards and forwards from my reference and, and making sure that uh, my tonal value is correct. I mean this this dog could be done in in different kinds of pinks in in no brains or anything and. It would still look like this dog because of the tone value, because of the lights and the darks. People start in coloured drawings, um, concentrate too much on colours. Yes, they're important, but tonal value is so much more important. And on that, I will be doing many more uh, videos. I'm, I'm doing one um, later on today with tonal values and, and form. So. Uh, make sure you stick around for that and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got so many more tutorials coming out. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it from me. Thank you all for watching if you've made it this far and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Alright, thanks guys.